Hello again everyone, it's Vince Farr from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for October 18th, 2016. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Well, we saw a bit of a pop in the equities markets. It did fade by the end of the day, but still we finished higher. The Dow was up 75 points while the S&P 500 was up 13 and the NASDAQ market uh, was up about 44 points. Now we're still within this sideways uh, consolidation area, this, this so-called channel. And I'll get to more on channels, specifically channel breakouts in a second. But let's go through these charts. Uh, the Russell also, once again, trading much higher, but fading by the end of the day, finishing higher by about three points. TLT um, put in a nice strong here bullish engulfing pattern. What this, t this tells us is that we may get a retracement before the next leg lower. We had talked about how the October 14th candle had broken these lows and we should trade lower, but there, there was no follow through. We never did get a trade below the low of that day. And, uh, and now we, we got a bit of a pop today. It was up 43 cents. Uh, gold also holding its own holding on to gains up a little over six points today while crude was up another 70 well actually 35 cents at the official close currently up 73 cents here on the crude futures um after hours the buzz was all about earnings intel down more than five percent on disappointing sales guidance remember what we were, we've been talking about if they disappoint on guidance, they're going to get hammered. Uh, Yahoo was up 1%. They beat expectations. Intuitive Surgical was down slightly more than 1% despite beating expectations. And Linear Technologies was also down on a miss a little over 1%. Now, if we look at the chart of Chipotle here, Chipotle has certainly been in what we call a channel here for a while, since the middle of June or so. And this is a typical channel. And what you want to see is a breakout one way or the other. And by a breakout, I mean a close either above the high range of this channel or a close below the low of that channel. Not a trade, but a close. And then you actually want to see follow through. If you close above here, you want to see a trade above the high. If you close below, you want to see a trade below the low. But the safe way to trade this is on a pullback. So in other words, let's assume that this is going to bounce and actually break above here. Then you want to wait for a retest. That is the best way to play this, the safest way to play this. And then look for a reversal signal in that area for the next move lower. And as far as the next move lower, um, what you can expect is pretty much the same size of move as you saw in the channel to begin with so what you want to do is measure that channel and then take that distance and that pretty much is usually what you'll see as a follow-through move so uh, keep an eye on this now a hint here usually is momentum uh, one way or the other on that 20 period moving average right now on Chipotle we're completely flat so we'll see if it holds this lower end of the channel if it does it will most likely move towards the top here but wait once again the best way to do this is to wait for a breakout one way or the other that's about it for now enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update